let's suppose it's April 15th, 2016, and you just bought a share of Facebook stock, which has been doing fantastic. Okay. So April 15th price, it turned out to be 109.64. Okay. And your risk here is that the price of Facebook could drop and you would lose money. So to hedge a stock, you can buy puts. And so as an example of how a put works, you might buy a September 25th, 2016, $95 put. Okay, now essentially what that means is Every dollar by which the September 25th price, stock price, is below 95, you get a dollar. So if Facebook would go to $90, you'd get $5 on September 25th. If it went to $85, you'd get $10. But if the stock Facebook stayed above $95 on September 25th, 2016, you would get nothing. Now, these options are priced usually by something approximately like what's called the Black-Scholes option pricing formula, one of the most famous uh, formulas in finance, which we may have some videos on in the future. But that September 25th put, let's say the exercise price is what that $95 is called. And how much does that put sell for? Well, if you look on the internet, the put price turned out to be $3.60. So if we format that as currency, and how you come up with that price is fairly complicated. But the question is, how can you look at the way buying that put reduces your risk when you own the Facebook stock. Because the risk is the stock could drop like 80 bucks. And you would then lose $30, which is over 25% of your money. Okay. So what you have to decide is how many puts to buy. So we'll have to sell how many puts. And let's say zero, one, or two. And you don't know what the stock price is going to be. Let's make that an integer. It's September 25th, so you might have a range of values, and that is where a data table comes in. So you could vary the Facebook price on September 25th. Let's suppose we go 70 to $830. Okay. So the Facebook price can go up between $730. And we want to know what's our percentage return based on how many puts we buy and what the Facebook price would be on September 25th. September 25th, let's say, Facebook price. And so we might say 110, let's say. Okay, and let's name all these things. Formulas, create from selection, names in left row. Okay. So we want to figure out a percentage return based on that these two cells, how many puts we bought in the Facebook price. Okay, what we need to look at was our original cost and then our final value. So we could have the final value of the puts and go to the final value of the stock. So the original cost that we were paying was going to be the stock price plus the number of puts we bought times the put price. Okay, so there, let's say we bought one put. Okay, we would have laid out $113. Now the final value, let's say final value of a put. Now we can do this with an if statement or a max statement, but I'll do an if statement. So if the final price of Facebook is greater than the exercise price, you get nothing. Otherwise, you get the exercise price minus the Facebook price. So that should be zero. 
there's a faithful price attached to put is out of the money, so to speak. Okay, so if Facebook went to ninety dollars, you'd get five dollars. If it went to eighty-five dollars, you would get ten dollars. Okay, so we'll make that currency. Okay. So let's figure out final value of let's call it our portfolio. Portfolio final value. And so we can name all these guys. Don't have to, but I think it's helpful. So the portfolio final value would be a final value of the stock plus the number of puts you bought times the final value of the put. And so in this case, the stock would have dropped to eighty-five dollars, but I bought one put, it would pay me ten dollars, I would have got the ninety-five dollars. Now if I bought two puts, I would have had hundred and five dollars. Okay, so again, that currency right there. Oops, wrong. Currency right there. Okay, so now the portfolio return, which is going to be the output cell for the data table, is going to be your final value of the portfolio minus the original cost of the portfolio divided by the original cost. Okay, so there we would have lost 10%. Okay, because we put in $116 and the portfolio was worth $105, we put lost 10%. So that's going to be the output itself at the data fee. So going down here, we might list our stock prices. We might list $70, $75, final Facebook price. And then we might list the puts going across 0, 1, and 2. Okay, now the output cell is going to be our portfolio return, which would be right there. Okay, so control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow to do the data table. Data, what if analysis, data table. Now the column input cell, the numbers in the first column are going to be the final price of Facebook. That should go right there. The rows are going to be, the row input is going to be how many puts I bought. Okay. Now I can make this a percentage if I want. Control one. Number percentage. Maybe make this dollars to see how it looks. Okay, and if you notice, there's some interesting things here. So if the stock gets clobbered and you own two puts, you actually make money. If you don't own any puts, you get clobbered. Okay, but if the stock does great, okay, then your worst case is that you basically own the two puts because you just wasted the money on them. It's sometimes called portfolio insurance, insurance in a sense. Okay, so now if we wanted to graph this, okay, and then the easiest way I find to graph this is to copy it somewhere else. So I copied it, then right click, paste special values. Okay, now I don't want this stuff here. So I might say zero puts, one put, two puts. I'm not going to worry about the I should have kept the format perhaps. But now if I do a line graph, I think we'll really see what's going on. Okay, so if I do insert. Okay, I think that's line graph. And let's try the first one here. Okay, so now let's mosey this on over to the right. Okay. We could call this, let's say, hedging Facebook. Okay, so the gray is when you're really hedged, and the blue is when you're not hedged. So your payoff goes straight up with the stock price if you're not hedged at all. And if you're not hedged at all and the stock does bad, you really get clobbered. But right in, in, if you bought the two puts, which is the gray, basically, you do pretty well if the stock goes down. The one put, though, 
you don't do so well. But you can see what happens here as the stock does better and better in this right here, these things become sort of parallel. And basically what happens is you're a little bit worse off if you bought one put, a little bit more worse off if you bought two puts when the stock goes up because you just wasted the money on the puts. Okay. But the flip side of it is if the stock goes down, you're in much better shape if you bought those puts. Okay, so this is a really nice way to display, even though you don't know what's going to happen to the price of Facebook, how you'll do during, under different scenarios. Now, I hope we'll have a video later where we show you how to model the uncertainty in the price of Facebook. And then basically you could look at the probability distribution of your percentage return based on whether you bought zero puts, one put, or two put. And you could also model different option strategies. There's something called the straddle, butterfly, a whole bunch of those. But we'll save that for another day. After all, tomorrow is another day, as they say in Gone with the Wind. Okay, so thanks for watching. And, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston. Um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has... 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.